Hey guys, that's Ripley back with today's video. So today is just going to be a turtle video. As you can see, this is my red eared slider. It's a male. So I'm just going to be doing a video talking about why turtles need UVA, UVB, and a basking light. So basically the full basking setup with the basking dock. Now the reason that turtles actually do need UVA and UVB is because this will happen to their shell. Um, so this turtle was rescued from a pet store. As you can see, its shell just doesn't look really nice at all. Now personally, I don't know what's wrong with this turtle but we are going to the vet. I know I said that a couple videos ago, we actually did go to the vet and he prescribed the thing for shell rot, but apparently it's a cream, but apparently that cream didn't really end up working. So yeah, we are going back and we're gonna see what's wrong with it. He has to take like a sample of the shell, but here, this is what happens when you don't have UVA or UVB or heat, your turtle shell starts to diminish in health. And then in turn, that can actually kill your turtle. I have a Mississippi map turtle that's always had UVB since it was young and its shell is literally perfect. There's like nothing wrong with it. It's really pretty and stuff but then there are those turtles who the um pet store doesn't take care of or the owner just doesn't have enough knowledge which is fine there's always room to correct it's better to get it than to never have it so yeah i'm just making this video to show you what will happen and it is pretty much required i'm just going to show you my setup so here's my setup um this is my own diy i made a video on it it's a basking dock and then this is a zoomed combo deep dome or mini dome um, so this one has a heat bulb and for the heat bulb you do not need a fancy zoom ed one I literally go to my dollar store and I get these 60 watt bulbs. They're just regular light bulbs not frosted though um, They're just clear and they were perfectly fine. They are a little bit on the cheaper side So they burn out every like month or so but I mean it's a dollar for a pack of two So yeah, it's a dollar for a pack of two then on the other side you can't actually skimp out on this That is the UVB and UVA. Let me check it quickly. So here's what the UVB and UVA will look like. It's from Zoomed. Now I bought this on Amazon.ca for $20 and um, it lasts for a year. It actually does last for a year, but the problem with these is they don't burn out. So you have to really like mark when you bought it because it won't just burn out when it's like expired. It'll just keep lighting up. So you have to remember. So you have to remember the month that you bought it so that you know when to replace it. So yeah, this whole setup here probably cost around 50 to 60 now the only reason it's that high is because this was like 30 dollars to buy and this you only need to buy once so like the running cost is really just the bulbs this i've built you can buy like more expensive this was literally like six dollars this is lighting grid and then i also use pvc pipe um pretty simple you can just go watch my video so yeah for literally 60 dollars you can just avoid all the headache from having a turtle that does not have a healthy shell and all the vet bills that you need to pay to get medical attention. So here's my Mississippi map turtle. As you can see, the shell is actually really, really nice. Um, it's pointed at the top, which is it's supposed to be, and it's nice and smooth on the edges. Usually a Mississippi map turtle that does not have UVB, it will start to poke up on the edges. This turtle clearly had proper from the start, but the other one was the pet store's problem, um, but I just rescued it, it was like $20. Yeah, the previous owners of the Mississippi, of the Red Ear Slider, should I say, um, they had a male and a female and they just brought it in and dumped it. So the pet store just gave it for 20 and uh, Yeah, I took him in and he's doing better Sorry, I keep cutting off because this turtle is just going crazy. So let me just add him back in here um, So yeah, this pet store did not take care of him properly and he's doing a lot better than when I first got him But he's still not up to 100% which I'm really trying to get him there. So anyways the bottom line Yes, you do need UVA and UVB. I'm pretty sure I made that point throughout this whole video Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe.